Now that we've looked at where you should use apostrophes, we also now want to look at where not to use apostrophes. As I mentioned earlier, uh, some people seem to think any time a word ends with S, there ought to be an apostrophe. Um, and while possessives do handle S's uh, when you're forming them, there are other places that aren't possessives that don't use an apostrophe. So for example, you do not use an apostrophe with plural nouns. So you have one horse, you have two horses with no apostrophe. Um, if there was an apostrophe, it would either be a contraction, two horse is, which doesn't even make sense, or it would be a possessive, something belonging to two horses. Uh, but if we're just talking about the two horses and nothing belonging to them, it's just a plural, there's no apostrophe. Uh, this one gets misused a whole lot in places like supermarkets. Um, it's even gotten the title, the green grocer's apostrophe. Because you go into a supermarket and you look at the produce section and you'll see bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A apostrophe S, two for a dollar. There should not be an apostrophe in that bananas. Um, it's more than one banana is what it is. So no apostrophe. Uh, another place you do not use apostrophes is when you have the S form of verbs. So if I have a sentence where I'm saying something like Wally runs fast, no apostrophe in runs. Uh, if there were an apostrophe, it would either have to be a contraction, Wally run is fast, or it would be a possessive, which it can't be. There's nothing belonging to run. It's not even a noun. So no apostrophe in that situation either. Now, here's the one where people get tripped up the most often, and that is with possessive pronouns. When you form the possessive of a noun, you do use the apostrophe, you follow that rule about whether it ends with S, but for a pronoun, you don't use an apostrophe in the possessive. The reason for that is if you try to put an apostrophe in a possessive pronoun, it confuses the reader. Uh, the reader can't tell whether what you have is actually a possession um, or a contraction because contractions have apostrophes with pronouns. So possessive pronouns don't have apostrophes. That's how you tell them apart from contractions. So if I have um, your without the apostrophe, that means belonging to you or of you. Whereas your with the apostrophe, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, that's the contraction for you are. So that's the distinction you want to watch for. And there's a good way to test this. And that is, can you spell it out? If you can spell it out, then what you have is a contraction, and so you do use the apostrophe. But if you can't spell it out, then it's not a contraction. So you don't have an apostrophe. So that's your little test. Um, when you're using something, you have a pronoun and you're trying to decide whether it has an apostrophe or not, uh, you use that test. So I might have, for example, the kitten chased its tail. When we look at this and decide whether we want to put an apostrophe in there, 
we can try to spell it out. Can we say the kitten chased it is tail? No, that doesn't make sense. So we know we can't stretch it out. It's not a contraction. There is no apostrophe. On the other hand, I might have something like, it's never too late to adopt a kitten or two. In this case, once again, we can test this and see whether it makes sense when you stretch it out. I can say it is never too late to adopt a kitten or two. So that's your 100% sure test. Can you spell it out? If you can spell it out, then it, go ahead and put the apostrophe in. If you can't spell it out, leave the apostrophe.